Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at these two straps that I have with me. Clement from IWantAstrap.com or as they were used to know as a Mr. Silk Cloth contacted me to see if I'm interested to look at the, uh, I would say, I wouldn't say new, but re-release Silk Cloth strap and also some of the newer straps that they have in their offerings. Uh, one would be this seat belt NATO and I do believe that they have a couple of uh, leather strap vintage style leather strap as well so I opted for this uh, black seal cloth you know which uh, they are quite famous for and also this blue seat belt NATO so yep uh, before we move on further I'm just gonna say that this uh, is considered like a sponsored video because I get to keep the straps after the review and I don't have to return it back. But as, you, as usual, I will be brutally honest with what I like and what I don't like. So let's start off with um, this black sailcloth strap that we have. So don't worry, I will be doing, uh, I will be putting this on uh, a watch and you know, we can see how it looks and feel on the, on the wrist as well. So let's start off with this sailcloth strap. This is a black sailcloth strap with uh, I think it's gray because I chose gray I, I don't think it's white but yeah so I'm not sure if the contrast or the lighting is good enough for you to see um, seal cloth is like a material uh, it's quite obvious because it's supposed to be a cloth that is used to make sail for boats I guess and um, they are durable and they are quick drying from what I know well I'm no I'm again I'm no expert I'm into watches and I like like special straps so here we are talking about the straps so if you look at the stitching i would say the stitchings they are quite good okay um and then this strap itself is padded and the material it's uh, supposed to feel like you can see if it's like um, i would say it's like something like a nylon is some if you know it's uh, it has like a sheen to it to it and one good thing that I like is the buckle. As you can see, the buckle is signed. So this is uh, the logo for IWantAstrap.com. And it comes with quick release spring bars. So if you're into that convenience, it's definitely a plus. So what about here? Here is okay. So basically what we have is on the top and bottom of the strap, they are made of the same material and it's supposed to be um, robust, quick drying, and yeah, I, I, I don't say that they are rough. I don't think it will irritate my wrist and most of the wrists out there. So this is their, what you call the seal cloth strap. Next would be this seat belt uh, NATO strap. Um, seat belt, well, again, it's made of the same material that is used to make a uh, seat belt for your cars. You know, if you feel this and then you feel the seat belt of your car, they are more or less the same material, but this one, uh, according to what the spec out in the website, is what they call a tight weave seat belt uh, material. So uh, it's very smooth. It's, it feels silky smooth in a, in a way, and then it's not coarse or rough in any way. And again, it comes with um, a brush uh, and sign, I would say sign buckle here. I'm not sure if they're the same size. I'm guessing they could be the same size and the same buckle but I don't have any complaint with that. And the hardware, it's a brush. So you have brush keepers all uh, 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 for all the straps here. Well, um, I think it might be, this is just my opinion, it might be uh, better if they can offer like options whether or not people would, would like to get like a polish uh, buckle or brush. But for me personally, I would uh, prefer a brush anytime over a high polish buckle. But I can see that you know on certain watches uh, a, a polish a high polish buckle or keeper would make more sense but for me i will always or most of the time i would prefer a brush hardware for a needle strap because it's supposed to be sporty and supposed to be robust so yep so without uh, blabbering more let's put this these two straps on some watches that i have and see how it goes all right, we are back. These are the two watches that I've selected to pair up with the straps I have with me. So let's start off with the sailcloth strap. 
So I put it on my SKX uh, 013, which I've modded the bezel and a bezel insert. Um, I always have a feeling that, you know, because it's a silk cloth, it's supposed to fit on a diver. But yeah, it's not to say that it's only meant for a dive watch or a regatta watch or anything. But that is just my opinion. I think it will work quite nice, you know, if you have a, a sporty watch, say maybe like a Seiko Alpinis, I believe it would work well with that watch or even like a field watch or things like that. But uh, I decided to go with the SKX-013 here and yeah, I think the black and uh, grayish or off-white or you know what you want to call the strap matches the black and white uh, tone of the watch quite uh, good here. And it comes with spring bars, definitely there's uh, convenience you know when you want to attach the strap to the watch. So let's look at another watch, which is um, this Seiko 5 Rest KX. I believe uh, the part number is SRPE53. And I have a lot of people asking me about the reference number for this watch when I posted it on Instagram. So yeah, I decided to put it on a blue dial watch because I, I think the blue on the NATO strap, it's a good match to this blue dial watch. But sometimes some people might think that it's too monotonous but yeah i'm cool with, i'm cool with that and the brush keepers uh, matches the brush uh, surface and brush and polish surface of this watch rather quite nice here and yep it's a two layer it's not a single layer needle strap so if you prefer a single layer i don't think they have that yet but uh, it depends on how you want to put this on your wrist you can wear it as though as it's a single layer or even a double layer uh, NATO strap. I think I've shown such uh, I know how to wear the NATO strap in one of my few early videos if uh, I recall correctly and yep let's look at the tail end of this uh, we'll see whether it's nicely cut mm, yeah not too bad um, it's cut and then it's I think it's heat uh, heat shielded or heat what do you call that the process I can remember it's a uh, Yep, so there's no uh, material coming out and it's, I would say, quite um, okay. All right, so yeah, I'm going to put this on my wrist and uh, see how it goes. All right, so this is how the strap and the watch sits on my 6-inch wrist or 15.2 centimeters, if you want to know the metric yeah, unit. Um, well, I would say that the strap uh, is not, uh, I wouldn't say that it's not comfortable, but it's quite a stiff strap. Um, I think it will need some time to break in and conform to uh, conform better to your wrist. But when it's, uh, I've been wearing this like for a few hours just now, and it's still quite stiff, but uh, it's not in a way uh, uncomfortable. I believe it still needs some time to, to, to break in the, the, the strap and all that. But it's a stiff strap, so I just have to let you know ahead of time if you're expecting this to be like as soft as the uh, nylon seat belt NATO. It's not. It's quite a stiff strap, but it's look rugged. It feels, uh, you feel the substantial uh, uh, presence of the strap on your wrist and I would say yeah I, I I would say that this could take a beating I could go uh, you know I, I wouldn't say I would I would go diving because I do not know how to dive but I would go into water with the watch and the strap on my wrist without any concern okay so yeah we move on to the next strap all right so this is how the seat belt NATO and the Seiko 5 sits on my wrist well, uh, the way I put it uh, is that I put it in a way that I only have a single pass of material in between the watch and my wrist. Um, so uh, because I have a smaller wrist, this is how I normally like to wear my watch on a NATO strap because I do not want the extra tallness of the watch away from my wrist for it to feel like it's too bulky or it's the, the overhang is too much. And I would say this strap is as what I would expect it on a most of the seatbelt NATO in the market is comfortable, it's silky smooth, it's not rough, it wouldn't it wouldn't irritate your wrist and yeah and the color is quite nice. I like how the buckle uh, matches the brush surface on the watch and it's supposed to be sporty and I have the sporty feeling when this is on the wrist. So yep, 
it's quite nice all right so with that said i think that's it i can say for this video so if you're new to my channel please help by subscribing to my channel it does help me a lot and you can also follow me on my instagram for more watch pictures and i'll be sharing some pictures of these straps these two straps on some other watches on my instagram so yep thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye